Hello and welcome back to uh, Caves of Good. We are we're on a quite a trajectory right now. Um, AV fourteen. I, I feel like that's the only thing we're kind of lacking is our AV. Um, but it's mostly because we're well, we still have these precision nano fingers equipped. We could. Um, oh, I guess I need to go back to Eid Freehold to uh, grab our stuff. I have a plan for what I'd like to do for this episode. I don't have a plan for how we're gonna get like what we need. Um, that's it's gonna be difficult. I won't I won't lie. Refractive. Does this uh? Can we put one more effect on that thing? You think? Let's uh let's put these back on our hands where they belong. Or I think we're done with the nano fingers. Um. So I'm going to go ahead and in here, we're going to store, let's store a bunch of stuff. I did pick up a palladium mesh tabard because I didn't know what it was. And my temptation is always to like, you know, if I don't know what something is to grab it, it served me well, you know? Um, and it's interesting. It's armor that uh, projects onto the local lattice. So I think that if you put pr uh, co-processor on like all of your stuff, then um they'll they'll uh function like far far better um really interesting a really cool idea uh i don't think i want to do it like at least not right now um so i don't know I interesting i don't know if i it's something i want to uh, mess with what i'm going to do right now we're just going to like shove some stuff in this box i'm also going to pull some stuff out of the box that's not going to make a lot of sense. Um, actually, I should keep the this. The this, you know, and we'll keep the sun and moon mask. Uh, I'm going to need some trade goods because I have an idea of what I'd like to do. It's a bit of a strange one. Um, let's transfer all of that. We're kind of like very overweight for how much we're carrying, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it is a lot. Um, now what I'd like to keep, take with us is like very light things that will weigh a lot. Um, I guess I'll take the extra dimensional night vision goggles. Um, not armor, but like maybe, yeah, Chris, flawless crystal dagger is kind of perfect. We'll take the vibro kopesh. We'll take a high voltage arc winder. Um, I'm taking trade goods, if you didn't catch on to that, uh, theme. Spacer rifle will be worth quite a bit. Uh, Masterwork blood gradient hand vacuum. I might have actually just put that in the chest. I'm not taking light rails, they weigh too much. Um, I guess I'll take... No, the nano nano, nano nero animator is just, like, too heavy. Um, flawless crystal longsword is good, though. Longsword, battle axe, and we need like a couple more things. Armor is too heavy. I guess I'll take these shoes. I don't think they'll be worth very much, but hey. Cool. I don't have it in me to sell things like Crystalline ha Halo and Dagish's Spur. Um, one thing I wouldn't mind doing is kind of weighing the pros of using the Psychic Meridian. It is plus four MA. Um... And then it has some extra effect. Failed psychic attacks against you cause you, the attacker to hemorrhage. I think that's an extra effect. Um, we can mod this with tinkering. It's very expensive, but it would be worth it. One power this item grants plus two intelligence and provides... Yeah, I don't know if I actually want to do that. I don't know what provides 18 units of compute power to the local lattice. I don't know what that does. Um, I should figure that out because i'm sure it would be another tool in our arsenal um let's put refractive on it and i'm going to equip this and we'll re-equip kessel face on our extra face and uh yeah so we have an extra dimensional refractive whatever um i think that's worth it like, compared to the Psychodyne Helmet, which is really nice, by the way. I'm going to miss this thing. This is plus four willpower. 
Honestly, doesn't plus four willpower just give us MA? Our MA is 30 right now, so I don't think so. I think the MA, the willpower provides um, basically it's modifier bonus to MA. So like um, plus four to willpower is actually only plus two to MA. Whereas a plus four to MA is just plus four to MA. So it does actually, we do net a, a bonus to our mental armor. Um, but what else does it do? It gives us extra intelligence, which we don't care about at all. And this thing is two AV. That's probably the biggest bummer. No, no, never mind. The psychic uh, meridian is also two uh, AV. I think the biggest thing is that, um, the Psychic Meridian is going to provide like a ridiculous amount of uh, offensive power towards Espers, which are our greatest nemesis right now. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, we can make a, a, a Psychodyne Helmet. How much? This would give us an eight, a seven and an eight bit, but let's just take it. We're going to go back to the Moonstair. In fact, we're going to go to Iron Raj. This is a little side quest. Um, not actually quest, but just like a little side trip. Um, but what I'm going to do is a tune and we're going to go to, we want to go to, um, the roaming Keter. Um, is it like literally in the same spot it was before? Let's just, uh, let's go back to Eid Freehold. I should, uh, actually, hold on. Let's go back to Moonstair, where we had where we set our original Moonstair, because though it is no longer where the Roman Keter is, it's pretty close. Close enough, though. Yeah, I'd say so. All right, so we're gonna go north and then east. Actually, let's just start at the center. The uh, Chrome Pyramid on this uh, tile. Always, always gives me a little bit of a scare. So, Psychic Animus uh, of a Vast Mind. Oh, we don't have Clairvoyance. Why? Did we lose a bunch of will? I guess we did lose a bit of willpower. Wait, how come we only have 33? I guess um, we did lose some willpower because we are no longer using the Psychodyne Helmet. That is gonna suck, actually. I won't lie. But still, I think it'll be worth it. How come the Sundermine just straight up didn't work? I guess they broke a, a connection with us. There's another one. Like, oh God. Don't really want to deal with a lot of this. Oh god, there's a star kraken. Why is there always a star kraken? Okay, well we killed the lad and we didn't get our e e ego, so I'm I'm fine. I'm just gonna leave. All right, how close are we? Um, we're getting there. Current location is in the center. Yeah, it, uh, we just like, you know, prioritize killing espers. And I guess if the higher glimmer you are, the higher chance you have of getting like attack, attacked by multiple hunters, which means you actually do have a higher chance of absorbing ego. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but it feels right. All right, now we go east. So we're going to go to the Roman Keter um, because it does, as far as I know, have the highest tier. Um, the highest tier merchant in the game. I believe that is true. And I would like to, you know, increase that number. I like how the, the Roman Keter still has some damage to the roots despite having moved. Nice little extra detail. So we're going to go and, um, wait, what? You pass by a set of spiral staircase and fall down. What's happening? Is the Roman Keter broken? 
How come I'm falling down? Um, well, that sucks. It looks like the staircase is broken. So I actually can't get to the merchant unless I have wings. Can I, I wonder if I can make something that would let me fly. We can make a gyrocopter backpack. Uh, we are overburdened. That, that was, you know, going to happen. Um, fill it with... I guess we could fill it with lava. Uh, I'd rather just fill it with some oil. Let's do like 20 grams of oil. Um, can we fly now? Does it take a moment to boot up? Your gyrocopter backpack whirs. Carrying too much still. Um, all right, hold on. We're going to have to lose something. We could just drop something, I suppose. Oh, let's uh, disassemble a chem cell. I know that's nothing, but you know. It all adds up. We've got to take these opportunities to get rid of stuff that is weighing us down. Yeah, let's get rid of a dread root tuber. Oh, I guess I'll eat it. I took four damage from a nosebleed. Uh, weird. I actually took quite a bit of damage from that. Um, we need to lose two more pounds. Yeah, I basically, I want to visit the, the merchant here and then, like, clone them a lot of times. Because, uh, they're likely to have some really good stuff. The only thing I'm really missing is some Zetachrome, a Zetachrome vestment. So I'd like to get one. I mean, it's the last, you know, one of the last things on our list to get. We're still taking damage from a nosebleed. Um, okay, fly is toggled on. Can we go up now? Yeah, we can. So what happened to the staircase here? What happened to the ground here? No points of interest. I feel like this is very broken. Um, this feels very broken. Wait, what? What? Did Keter, like, disappear while I was inside of it? Why are we down here now? Oh, this is very strange. We can't fly over Moonstair, right? No. Uh, okay, well... That is weird and strange, and I don't like it. So I'm just going to go back and uh, hope that things are better, but um, that's rarely how things work in code. Once things are broken, you know, they're, they're kind of broken. You can't really fix them or like hope that they fix themselves. Okay, uh, and then let's just check. Are we on the right? Yeah, we're on the right. Uh... I'm, a, I'm. Oh, what? Our clairvoyance. Oh, right, because we were gaining more clair. Um... Hold on. Remove. I guess we're gaining more from our Clytosera. Plus one ego. That plus one ego is doing a lot of work. It made the, it makes the difference between uh, like a you know objectively inferior clairvoyance and like the best clairvoyance. I'm, I'm kind of missing the psychodyne helmet. I have to say, I I don't think that the extra effects of the psychic meridian helmet are really going to make a big difference for me personally. 
Um, I miss I miss that extra willpower. Seeing clairvoyance have 30 turns on recovery really hurts. Uh, in fact, I'm just going to go ahead and make the decision now. Um, I just, I just don't think, it, the, I, I don't know. Let me know, you know, uh, maybe, maybe I'm completely wrong about it, but I, I know that wearing a extra dimensional psychic meridian has a, it's novelty. There's definitely a novelty there. I recognize that, but I don't, you know, I'm not seeking necessarily just novelty. I do want to, uh, like have the better helmet basically okay are we almost there it's northwest um this time i'm going to enter the tile normally um points this should be it here. Nope. One more north. Uh, we went too far. So we're on northeast, so it should be the one here. Oh, there we go. Um, what an annoying screen tile. So now... If we go here, uh, is this fixed now? Ah, it seems better. I think. It does seem slightly better. You're famished. That's fine. Okay, so we, we, we did make it here. I was a little worried that that wasn't going to work out. Um, so now what I'm going to do is clone this lad like a lot of times. Uh, I'll do this off camera so you don't have to watch it. Okay, I think I think this is enough uh, sans. What do you think? You think this is enough sans? Uh, we're gonna go and see if this one has anything to trade, and it doesn't really look like it. But um, seems like they're about on the same level as like Tilly. So I mean that might be a bummer. But I, the first one I saw had Zetachrome. So I have to assume that they're slightly higher if I don't know, maybe the same, but it, I mean, it's something to do. And like, I need to, I need to find like Sunslag and I really don't know where to do that. Oh, it looks like I'm, I'm in the wrong place again. Uh, that seems to be like something that's going to happen a lot, isn't it? Um, all right. Well, so what do we do now? You know, uh, I think the, the the answer to that question is like, I don't know. Um, I I want to go and find some some like a legendary Iker merchant. I think what I'd like to do, let's go to Eat Freehold, and I'll store some stuff. I won't store everything though. Um, some of this stuff, sure. And what we could do is like just travel around, probably in the jungle. Like, I, I don't know if there's really much else for us to do. We can go and we can, like, do the same thing as uh, you know, with the salt desert and um, just like travel in a straight line. But I, I need to find uh, I need to find some more merchants. It really seems like I'm being shortchanged on like some important merchants. Um, so now that we're on like good, is that a legendary? Yeah, it is a legendary of the secret sightless way. Okay, that's a big deal. I just happened to find one. Um, they would teach us pyrokinesis. I'm not I'm not really hugely interested in pyrokinesis. Uh, this is the other thing, is if I could find some more Seekers of the Sightless Way, that would be kind of cool. Because um, they could teach us, like, the mental mutations that we don't have. 
so I mean like you know it, it's really it's it's up to us what we want to do obviously it's up to us but like it's really up to us the only thing is like if I really wanted to I could use a different liquid there is of course that you know uh, there is of course why are you like really insistent on using sun slag is it is it a flex it's a little bit of a flex but also i just really want that quickness gained another hundred reputation with uh, robots we're not disliked by dromad merchants that's not okay i really didn't think i was gonna wow oh, that could be really bad actually okay well i mean that's interesting um, I really hope that doesn't end up being a problem. <laughs> okay, what do we got on this screen? Nothing. We're on, uh, we're on okay terms with goat folk. We're on good terms with robots. We're on good terms with basically everyone that matters. Like, I, I can't imagine anything else that... Like, see Seekers of the Sightless... Like Gersh. You know what? It would be good if we were on better terms with Gersh. We have another legendary idol here. Uh, disliked by the Order of the Briny Ghost of Alipur. Hated by trolls. That's interesting. But we've already gotten everything we need from the trolls. So... Uh, I don't know. Is this a village? Where are we? Are we close to a village? Sharkamur. We are near Sharkamur. We found a village. I mean, just a little bit of exploration in the jungle is providing us with, with some pretty uh, good stuff. Although, I have to say, I don't care about villages anymore. Straight up. Doesn't matter to me anymore. After completing this Slynth quest, I, don't, I, I can't imagine, like... What what could I you know? Honestly, I would I would probably benefit more from killing this lad. I'm not going to, but you know. But yeah, I, I'm good for villages. I've done my time with villages. But yeah, I do think that like exploring um, the jungle is probably gonna be our next thing. Um. Like, you know, you can let me know. Maybe I should just, like, use a different liquid. There is always that. And the other thing is, uh, is if I use a different liquid, um, I know I'm going to find the sun slag, like, right away. That's just how cud works. Uh, if I had three drams of warm static, that would be nice. I don't, I really do not have, um, I don't have a supplier for any liquid. So I just have to, like, choose some random one. Cider. Cider wouldn't be bad. We could do cider because then that's confusion. Uh, confusion at level 5 or 10 quickness? Not sure. Let's just do cider. Let's settle for cider. Um, It's only 5 less than quickness, but the thing is, is it might give us confusion, which is not as good as the 10 quickness as far as I'm concerned. The thing is, is I don't know where I would get some cider. So why don't we just go to the rainbow wood? Hey, a layer. Legendary co uh, goat folk clip off. I'm down for a legendary goat folk clip off, I suppose. Oh, there's a few legendaries here. I cannot find a path to A. That's because they put their horse field on. Oh, there's a hermit here. So, like, all of the legendaries have, like, armed up. Let's, uh, go talk to one of the other ones. Hated by worms, fungi, and cats. I'm sorry, bud. I can't, I can't make those sacrifices. I like my worm rep, and I like my cat rep. And I like my fungi rep, it must be said. 
Let's go talk to the other one. Uh, disliked by highly entropic beings. That kind of sucks. And in Brathermites, but yeah, this is fine. Have a secret, have another secret. Okay, what about you, bud? Disliked by the villages of Karkalep. I'm, I'm cool with that. Our GoFo rep is very healthy now. Cool. Um, roasted boar nearby, sure. Go folk village, huh? Tell me more. Okay, we are going to the Rainbow Wood. Hey, excuse me. How come I'm... I was about to say, how come I was uh, able to just, like, travel around? Um, speaking, I just realized I have a gyrocopter backpack. Let's, um... Port nearby. I'm gonna get rid of the oil. And then we'll fill it with lava. You can, apparently you can put lava in an entropy cyst, huh? Yeah, I always forget that this thing can carry a hundred and something drams. We're well overweight now. This is the problem with caring about money. Um. I, I should drop some of our... Let's uh disassemble some nuclear cells. Some of our antimatter cells are actually kind of low. We can just get some 8 bits from them. Um, I don't think I need all of these grenades. Uh, we should be good now. We've got some lava. So why are we here? We're here for cider. Why is that honey so weird looking? <laughs> Let's, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble some more stasis grenades. Just because we need a bit more weight. When we find that cider, I'm gonna need, like, a little bit of it. But yeah, um, I don't think that, like, I don't, I don't think you can find anything. You, you can't find sun slag in the rainbow wood, as far as I know. Could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. That's slime. Let's just, like, make this 30 turns. I'm tired of, like, playing this game where I, like, press... You know, I, I, I let it um, set itself to the wait time of the uh, cooldown, but it never works properly, and I have to do it like three or four times. So we're just going to travel through the Rainbow Wood for a little bit. Um, I'm just like clairvoyancing on every screen until I find one with some cider. There's probably a better way of doing this, but... Eh. Oh, there's some cider right there. Um... Collect liquid. No, I don't really want to. Okay, hold on. There's an easier way of doing this. You go to your water container, you go to an empty water skin, and you go fill. No? I thought you could do this. Fill with... No, it doesn't look like you can do it. Um, I guess you do this pour into one water skin. There we go. All right, now we're just gonna go ahead and um, recoil to um, Greek Gate Brathroom Study. I didn't really check to see what other things we could do. Like I, I, I got quite a few other parts. Huh. <laughs> Nimmershim's face proboscis or heightened quickness or multiple legs or stinger or mental mirror or force bubble 
or triple jointed. That's kind of fun. I didn't realize that you could use your own body part and then it would like potentially get a random. Huh. There's something interesting there. I wonder if you could like play with that a little bit. Um, but no, we're sticking to the waveform. How come? Okay, use the Zeta Chrome Catalyst. Use Cider. So all we need now is the body. And I should be able to do this this episode. Um, open. Just want to drop off our um, Cider. Let's recoil to um, Subterranean Ruin, Six Strata Deep. I believe this is the one that uh, I made a note of. Although it doesn't really look like it. I wonder... Hmm. Nope, there they are. There's our, there's our lad, Sad Bear. So, uh, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna cook a meal. Buddy, you're in a wall. This is such a weird thing. Like, this this run has been so deranged. Like, hey, I, I made friends with the sad Amos, the sky bear. Where'd you find him? He was encased in shale in the wall, six strata deep underground. Um, oh, okay. Well, I won't question your methods. Every time you eat a mushroom, we're gonna cook and eat that. We're gonna make friends. We're going to make friends. I, I guess getting them out was gonna be a fun, uh, extra thing to do here. Let's remove this and equip um, a tool, useful tool that always comes in handy. Hello, sad Amos the Sky Bear. Um, how are you doing? I am doing fine. I'm feeling like a fun guy right now. F, eat, pop, and um. I suppose uh, beguiling is an ego thing. We could, uh, in the future, we could just get beguiling and then it, our ego would bump it up to level eight anyway. But anyway, we've got our sad Amos. We will go back to Greek Gate. Um, we will recharge the solar cell and then we will go back to Greek Gate. All right, body. Clone of sad Amos, human golem. It is done. I am ready for the creature to be molded and catalyzed. Let's just double check that we have everything we want. Uh, electrical generation. That's for the swarm rack, by the way. Um, and for other various things. It's just nice to have electrical generation. It's never not good. Um, it's also a, a good attack. I never use it as an attack, but it is actually a very nice attack. Waveform, quickness, human golem, long blade, move speed. It's all good. It's all very, very good. Materials ready? Circuits to solder? Clank, stir the soup? Yes. You haven't provided the mound with all the necessary materials. Um, I, I disagree. What, what am I missing here exactly? Okay, hold on. What what are you missing? Procure the sanguine fluid. Oh, no. I thought something was amiss. I was just at the rainbow wood, and I could have acquired that. Shoot. And now sad Amos is going to be a problem. All right, we're going to take a risk. We're going to tell them to stay there. And then we're going to go to eat freehold. Because this is the closest to place to the rainbow wood. If I become hungry before I reach the rainbow wood, that's a problem. No, we're not visiting any ruins. We're just going to the rainbow wood. 
Okay. Oh, I did become hungry. So Sad Amos is not going to be... He's not going to be cool with us. We're going to pour 20 drams into uh, a water skin. Yeah, we have 20 drams. Before we leave, let's go ahead and make our meal. Cook from a recipe, this one. Then we go back to Barath uh, Barathrum study. Okay, uh, sad. Hey, sad Amos, do not attack. Do not attack Barathrum. That is a no-no. That is not okay. Buddy, pal, come on. Don't. Oh, Barathrum, please don't attack him back. You will destroy him. Okay, Clank, make 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 it make it now. What do you mean? Incantation, the Hamza. Where is the soup option? I, I don't understand. Procure the sanguine fluid. Bring 20 drams of primordial soup. Okay, bring it to... Um... Soup. Animating substance, electro... Okay. Where do I place components once they are gathered? What what is happening? Um yeah, there's like no option to give it the soup. What should I know about the creature? Can the creature wear equipment? Something else to ask. It might be that let, let's try this. I'm gonna go ahead and take all. This really sucks what's happening right now. Um, let's just like go through each option and just double select them. Um, because it might be that I, you know, there's a weird bug happening where I didn't have the objects. And so therefore something, something, you know, like these things, they, they do. Um, sometimes they just don't work the way you want them to work. Um, electrical generation. Java. Where do I put the soup? Okay, well, I, it's fully bugged. <laughs> I don't know where to put the soup. There's nowhere I can put the soup. Um, let me, let me, hold on. Give me one second here. Okay, it uh, took some very tricky finagling, but I managed to uh, salvage the situation. I, I tried to, um, uh, I tried to just like complete the quest via a wish, and that didn't really work. Uh, turns out I, the, the problem was on my end, but um, it doesn't do a very good job of, of explaining this. Uh, you do need to have all of the things on you. Um, so I thought that maybe it's because I didn't have the primordial soup or because Pax Clank didn't, uh, wasn't accepting the primordial soup, but it was, it's just because you need to have like all of the parts that you are trying to build the golem with on you. Um, so I did manage to, like, I basically used the calm wish to, cause like Clank and Barathrum were both beating each other up, um, because of the weird kerfuffle with the, the sky bear more you know caves of cud stuff i guess so we have reached level 40 from that i will return in three days receiving an operating manual wow we got uh we, we're like got a sizable chunk of xp from that um where is this there's the sky bear we're gonna go ahead and um put them away i don't actually want to kill them 
I would prefer not to kill them. So I'm going to have them join me over here. And um, come on over here. We're going to go like two tiles south. And I'm going to set them free. Goodbye, uh, sad bear. I appreciate you, but I don't need you anymore. We're going to pass three days. Uh, I don't usually do things like that, like this, but like... There's really not much more for us to do. Uh, I would like to complete the final quest. Um, like we're we're pretty ridiculously equipped, um, so I'm I'm pretty happy with what we're doing. Um, I, we should be good. I think that's maybe three days. Maybe I'm wrong. But let's go and check. Your golem is ready for use. There he is. He does look like a golem. Clank puff on you. N later. <laughs> now, clank puff. Pause puff for Prickle's favor. Okay. Um, so this is a big deal. This is, uh, I mean, it's definitely farther than I've ever made it. But, um, you know, I, I'd like to, we actually get to see a new quest. And that's huge. I think what I'll do is I'll end the episode right now by um, checking out our golem. Let's uh, let's see if maybe we can equip some stuff. Here we are in a golem. We have oh, we have the full long blade set, which is great. We do have a metachrome blade. Um, let's see if we can use the swarm rack. We will have to. I'll have to tinker it with. Uh, I, I, I forgot to tinker it. But let's see if we can use it. Oh, we are instantly overburdened. What are we wearing? What are we holding that to? Uh, is it just because our, like, why, like, why are we so overburdened Im immediately? It's 1,500 pounds. We don't have enough. Oh, we can't. I, I took the one weapon that needed more than the golem can carry, and I didn't give the golem enough carry to capacity to use it. Oh, I wanted so badly. I wanted... Wait a minute. Hold on. We can salvage this. We can salvage this. Hold on. Um, I, I know what to do here. First of all, um, let's... I'm just going to go ahead and drop the swarm rack. Go ahead and drop it. And we're going to go ahead and... Let me see. How do I exit the golem? Exit pilot seat. Uh, let's put that a bit higher. I do not want to accidentally use that ever. Um, yeah, this is fine. Exit pilot seat. All right. What I'm going to do is we're going to grab the swarm rack. And we're going to mod it. This is a... this Yeah, okay. Then we're going to give it willowy. Let's see how much it weighs now. Uh, look. It's only 187 pounds now. Almost I could use it now. <laughs> um, okay, perfect. Then let's mod it and give it uh, jacked. Oh, we do we not have the jacked mod? Maybe we do not need the jack mod. Maybe it's just we need a lot of missiles. Um, I guess that this thing is not going to be super viable, seeing as that we need a ridiculous number of missiles to uh, use it. It's not like we can't do that, but um, <laughs> it's uh, th it's not really what I had in mind. Let's give it like scoped and masterwork. Um, so I guess our, the major problem there is we are going to need to go and get a ridiculous number of missiles. That's not impossible, but it's going to majorly make it not worth it. Um, still, eh, better than what we were, where we were. So then let's enter, re-enter the golem. Enter. And let's see how much stuff we can equip. We can equip this... 
uh gigantic crystal cornet i should have modded these two like i could mod this thing with two two faced these are you know we can we can come back to these kind of things we can equip this so we have <laughs> we have our master scoped swarm rack on the golem um let's see what else we can throw on here uh we could put on a nano weave vest is pretty good i thought we didn't we have a crystal flawless crystal vestment though or was it just the helmet might have been just the helmet i don't know i thought we did have a gigantic uh, crystal like vest but we'll equip that and we'll equip is this a body slot i think it probably must be chem vest yeah We'll equip the gigantic born, uh, worn burn noose for fun. Um, so we do have options. Like we, we could have a, we have a gigantic handrail and high voltage arc winder. So like, you know, in case the swarm rack isn't like good enough, <laughs> I don't know if you can detect how much, how many air quotes I'm throwing out there. Uh, in case they're not good enough, we could, you know, dual wield a handrail and gigantic, uh, you know, high voltage arc winder. Um, we could mod them with jacked, and um, that would that would be pretty good. Uh, did I not put this on? All right, so let's look at our equipment. We're missing a few things, but uh, all you know, all things considered. Not bad. AV-17. Could be worse. Could be better, though. I won't lie. Um, I don't dislike this. So, on the next episode, we're going to actually, like, talk to Barathrum, see what the next part of the quest is, and and see what that entails. But uh, this is, you know, it's, it's a big deal. Why is the chest on fire? Why is why is the chest on fire? Is it because of this uh, lava gyrocopter backpack lava? <laughs> Just like pick that up. Um, can I can I beat the flames of this? Fight fire. There you go. Okay, that was a little bit odd. Uh, yeah, the temperature was actually quite high. I didn't even realize that. Uh, all right, so if you are enjoying the series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.